So I'm of the opinion that growth matters because the alternative is death. <laughs> um, if Walden Swanson from CDS were here, <coughs> he'd tell you, um, he'd probably show you the life cycle of a business. And in that you see that there's the beginning, uh, there's maturity, there's leveling off, and then there's really two options and it's rebirth or growth and or decline and ultimately death. So um, it's grow or die in my book. Um, not to be the doomsday person in the room, but um, the question for me kind of turns in, turned into what happens if we don't grow. And if we don't grow, we become irrelevant in our communities. We shrivel on the vine. Our co-op is one of the smallest in the country, and um, we started in 1970, which was a really long time ago, but we're still pretty small. And um, I think throughout that time, We've struggled quite a bit. We've struggled financially, operationally. Um, we've struggled to become relevant in our community to affect more people. Uh, but more than anything, I think we've struggled with uh, being comfortable with taking risk. We've been pretty risk averse throughout our history. We've feared debt and loss to the extent that we've really kind of uh, missed out on opportunities and written our own destiny up to this point. Um, with some pretty serious limitations. We started in 1970 like lots of other co-ops across the country and if you just watched the Food for Change movie, uh, which we did, uh, I think the estimate was about 800 started in the 70s and 200 survived. So I feel like we were one of the lucky ones, um, but we're still kind of just making our way. And um, I personally um, feel like we can't stay the same size that we are today. but. Say that was a possibility, say that the life cycle of business is wrong and you can have maturity and just maintain at that level. You don't have to uh, go into rebirth or decline. What does stagnation look like? And uh, to be the same doesn't really sound that fun to me either. It means that employees are making the same wages or have the same growth opportunities. It means that farmers can rely on us to purchase the same amount of products from them year after year, so they're not seeing growth in that way either. It means that we like maintain that little sliver of the food industry pie that we currently do, and that large corporations really dominate um, the industry and, and mimic us in a lot of ways, um, and that people miss out. I think growth matters because we do good work. In each of our towns, our co-ops support local farmers treat employees with dignity, do outreach and education programs, uh, work to reduce our environmental impact, maybe not with perfection, but certainly with persistence. And if that good work could touch more people, uh, not only does growth matter, but it's essential. And I don't really, like, uh, I think the growth has to be intentional. Uh, throughout Green Tree's history, I think some of the growth that we've experienced has been like, it just kind of happened, thank you Dr. Oz, or <laughs> whatever the current situation was. And um, I think from here on out, it has to be uh, like planned and executed and, and bold. And I think that's what's gonna make the, the most difference. Thanks, Sarah. And, and now, uh